gun sales have simply soared since the election of President Obama. Gun owners all across this country are concerned, and uh, many others are concerned, that the Obama administration will curtail Second Amendment rights to bear arms. This concern is based on the president's past record on gun rights and that of his nominee to be Attorney General, who will be running the Justice Department, Eric Holder. Phil Tucker with our report. Gun sales soared at the end of last year. The FBI reported a 42% spike in background checks in November of last year versus November of 2007. Background checks rose 24% in December versus December of 07. Some gun shops report back orders for guns that are as long as 11 months. For gun owners, President Obama and his choice for Attorney General Eric Holder are a double threat to their Second Amendment rights. Last year, Holder went on record refusing to support what is essentially an individual's right to own a gun in Washington, D.C. Eric Holder signed on to a brief before the Supreme Court, the so-called Heller decision, overturning the D.C. gun ban, and he was in favor of keeping the gun ban. He wants people in the District of Columbia to go to jail if they have a handgun. After the court ruled against the gun ban, President Obama says he will, quote, uphold the constitutional rights of law-abiding gun owners, hunters, and sportsmen. But as witnessed in the surge of gun sales, gun owners don't think so. They're worried their Second Amendment rights are about to come under assault. The president has tried to ease those concerns, saying he supports enacting, quote, common sense laws like closing the gun show loophole and improving our background check system so that guns do not fall into the hands of terrorists or criminals. Groups advocating for gun rights say Mr. Obama's efforts would instead make gun ownership expensive and bureaucratic. As an example of their concerns, they note that in the Illinois Senate, Mr. Obama supported a 500 percent increase in the federal tax on firearms and ammunition. And they are very concerned about uh, efforts that might be undertaken by this administration or the new Congress that would uh, ban certain firearms or put restrictions on the ability of law-abiding Americans to, to purchase firearms. They also point to President Obama's support of micro-stamping, that is, having a gun imprint a bullet with an identifiable mark, a process that researchers, including the University of California, Davis, and the National Academies of Science, say is not currently viable. In other states, there have been separate efforts to put serial numbers on bullets, which also draw skepticism as being unworkable and expensive. It's prohibitively expensive, but that's, that's the goal. The goal is to go ahead and make everybody hang their guns on the wall because they won't be able to afford to buy ammunition. Now, the two groups strongly behind the push for micro-stamping are the Brady Campaign and the Coalition to End Gun Violence. The coalition also supports numbering each and every bullet made. And no one in the gun community understands the logic of that one, nor even how it can be done, in fact. And Lou, it's worth noting here that 75% of the violent crime in this country does not involve the use of a gun. Uh, and there are other considerations here, but normally... Uh, and, and uh, you know, I, I've talked about being uh, over the past weekend uh, picking up a shotgun at the, at the Gator Guns in southern Florida and, and West Palm Beach. Uh, and hearing about these stories of guns uh, being back ordered and mm -hmm. ammunition not available, and it's, we're finding out it's, it's true across the entire country. Right. Uh, and, and you'd like to be able to say to folks, simmer down. They're, what's your concern? <laughs> you know, these are just crazy rumors. It turns out. They're not just crazy rumors. They're not crazy rumors. Exactly right. There's a reason for concern. Uh, this is uh, uh, amazing, and I, and I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Uh, we're going to turn now to somebody trying to do their best to uh, assure that the Second Amendment uh, is honored and respected by government. Senator John Barrasso of Wyoming, a fierce critic of Attorney General nominee Eric Holder's record on Second Amendment rights. Uh, Senator Barrasso says he won't vote to confirm Holder. That vote, by the way, is expected to go before the full Senate tomorrow. Senator Barrasso joins us tonight from Capitol Hill. Senator, good to have you with us. Good to be with you again, Lou. Uh, Senator, this is uh, extraordinary because, as I was just saying to uh, our Bill Tucker, I'd like to be able to say to people, there's no reason for concern here, uh, but, the, but the evidence suggests otherwise, doesn't it? Well, it does. And I was in Casper, Wyoming this past weekend, the gun show, absolutely loaded with people. I just left three sheriffs from Wyoming who are here in the nation's capital for, for a big meeting. And uh, the number of people applying for concealed 
weapon um, permits it has skyrocketed. But I think there is grounds for concern because of Eric Holder's record. When he was deputy attorney general, the things that he's written, his stand that basically says that the Second Amendment doesn't apply to individuals, Lou, but it only applies to a well-regulated militia. And on that, I fundamentally disagree. And the people of our nation need to know that the Second Amendment means the things that we know it to mean. It applies to individuals, right. and I'm going to vote against him. Well, I, you, know, I, you know, the Second Amendment, uh, like the other uh, uh, nine in our Bill of Rights, were all individual rights, uh, so the argument uh, for militia is tortured uh, in its reasoning at, very, at the very best of the Supreme Court upholding the individual right. Uh, but I'd like to read to you and to our audience something that Mr. Holder uh, said during his Senate Judiciary Committee hearing. He stated that gun control is not on the Obama administration's agenda. He said, quote, I have no intention, this administration has no intention of doing anything that would affect a state's regulation of firearms. Who can carry a firearm? Under what circumstances? There is nothing that we have discussed, nothing that is in planning, nothing that I can imagine that we're going to be doing in that regard. What is your reaction? agendas can change on an instant and so can intentions and that's why I've come out against Mr. Holder I think he's absolutely wrong he has a long history from his days as deputy attorney general under Janet Reno and his writings he's been against gun shows he's been wanted a limit of one gun per month just look at this administration the application form one of the questions to apply to work for the administration do you own any guns what are their registration numbers well mine aren't registered you know have you what's when was it last fired have there been any any any, any accidents with the guns what have you shot it at I mean this is clearly not the philosophy of people that believe in the Second Amendment rights and individual choice and decisions uh, it, it is extraordinary and I have to say that uh, Eric Holder sounded a bit uh, there was a little uh, lawyer ease in his statement it seemed to me when he said that the administration has no intention of doing anything that could affect a state's regulation of firearms. Uh, you know, this is not a place to be. You know, have you heard from the Obama administration? Uh, has there been any response on the part of this administration to your concerns and those of other senators and, and, and congressmen on this clearly uh, important issue, important issue to millions, and I, I think to the republic itself, but to millions of Americans? I've not heard anything from the administration, but I hear a lot from the people of Wyoming. And in Wyoming, we're a group of people that say, let us alone, leave our land alone, leave our water alone, and leave our guns alone. We know what our Second Amendment rights mean, and I'm going to be back in Wyoming again this weekend talking to more folks from Wyoming and defending our rights for our Second Amendment rights. Senator Barrasso, thank you very much for being with us here. We appreciate it. Thank you, it. Lou.